Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and I'm here with another unboxing. This is the second unboxing of some Japanese coins after the previous video, which had 1943 Japanese one sen. This time we're going for something quite a bit more modern. Um, I mentioned that there would be two packages, but they were actually just put in one. So here we go. Without further ado, let's take a look. I have to note that this came from eBay without the global shipping program, and as a result, it didn't take very long to get here. I have a few other sets of coins that aren't Japanese that are coming through the GSP, and they only left the United States yesterday, if there is any uh, clue on just how good the GSP is at shipping speed. Both parcels shipped out from their sellers on the same day, it's worth mentioning. So this took about a week to get here, the other one took, it's still ongoing basically. So here we go. So we are returning to Japan here with two rolls. Now this roll I intend to keep sealed because I might actually be giving it as a Christmas gift maybe. Or, you know, alternatively I could just keep it in the roll because it's easier to store it that way. This is a roll of 5 yen coins, as evidenced by the hole right here, and this is a roll of 1 yen coins. Now 5 yen coins supposedly are lucky in Japan. Um, you often see them being placed on necklaces, key rings, but also there is a sort of idea that if you get a new wallet you should put a 5 yen coin in it first to sort of ensure good fortune or something like that. So we can put that to one side and we'll stick with the yen. Now just like the one sen coin, as mentioned in the last video, these are made out of aluminium. They are essentially the equivalent of pennies over here because, you know, one yen is... is so basically it's about 100 yen to a pound, roughly. Um, 500 yen, 5 pounds, etc. But the Japanese mint has been producing these at a loss. And because these aren't really used very much as, say, the 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 coins, um, they're only really made in proof sets, so you can tell right away that these are almost definitely going to be circulated. Another point of, that's worth mentioning is several Japanese banks have coin rolling machines, and you're also able to convert bills into rolls. So this is probably where it has come from. Just like the Sen roll, there are 50 coins in each roll, so this here is 50 yen. We just call it 50 pence, why not? Here on the side we have um, obviously markings for the number of coins and then the equivalent amount in yen. So you would get 50 in each roll, that's the same in each roll, but here 500 yen, 25,000 yen, which would be enough to basically pay off your rent for a month going down, 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 and down, and here we go. So this has been wrapped in plastic, which is a bit of a odd sight compared to paper wrapped rolls that you would get in America. So let's undo it, take a look. Still, it's basically done the same way as any other paper roll. You just sort of peel off the side. Let's just undo the whole thing. Excuse the lighting, um, my light bulb blue that I would normally use to light this thing, so here we go. Put those to one side. I'm still learning how to read dates on Japanese coins, so that's another thing. Bring these a bit closer. So you can see here that we have one for one yen in Arabic numerals, and then underneath is the year, the era, and the number, so the era number basically, so in Japan you have things such as Showa 50 or Heisei 20 for example, um, it's not written in Gregorian dates, and then on the side here we have a tree shoot. It's worth mentioning that on this side as well, in some coins at least, that's odd, there must be not. Um, sorry, on the 5 yen coin, you also get tree shoots. They are positioned in between these sections here in the middle. You can just see it there. So, yes, these coins are probably going to be put to good use. Um, 
if I ever go to Japan, I suppose I can bring these along, have them converted into larger number coins. But really, this was mostly done just to see what Japanese rolled coins are like. So with that being said, and again, we're hitting five minutes, seems to be the time most of my videos reach at the moment. Um, that is all for now. I'm RCT3 Crashes 100. Over and out.